This week, I've been unwell. I decided to push through the sickness and kept coding even with a fever. As I started to feel better, I had to face the music. The code I'd written, it was bad. I was trying to add captions to my video editing app so the user can add text to their video that overlays with transitions and effects onto the video that's produced. But everything was taking twice as long and I kept creating problems for future Adam. So here's how it all started. I had a full week of coding and content creation lined up. My goal, two videos documenting my indie app development journey and some proper progress on my video editing app. The problem, I got sick. I had fever, headaches, chills, the works. There I am, wrapped up in blankets, trying to focus on my laptop. It was like coding through a deep fog. My mind just wasn't clear and I was making silly mistakes. My intuition wasn't there and my problem solving skills, they were gone. Coding has this elusive quality. When it works, you can spend hours building and everything just flows. It just comes together beautifully like art. But when it doesn't, oh my goodness, it is the most frustrating thing you can possibly do where things just don't work, they don't click into place and they don't function the way that you want. Well, let me tell you, when you're coding with a fever, nothing goes to plan. And if I was working for someone else, I would have taken the day off. In fact, it's the advice that I give out too often. When your body says it needs a break, take a break. But was I listening to my own advice? No. While I was barely keeping it together, feeling like I had to keep the momentum going, feeling like I had to push through this fever, I had the realization. Even if I had have taken the day off, even if I had have rested, I still would have produced the revenue that I would have produced. The only difference, I would have felt a lot less sorry for myself. And I guess that's the most frustrating part. I've spent the last week fighting through fever, fighting through illness, trying to code and keep that momentum going, only for the code that I've created just to be junk and worthless. I'm not feeling 100% now, you can probably hear it in my croaky voice, but I'm feeling well enough to get back on the coding bandwagon. And I've been able to add the functionality to the app, adding captions, transitions, when the captions appear. And I didn't use any of the code that I've been working on the last couple of days. I blatantly just had to scrap a lot of that code. And I guess that's the point, isn't it? I should have spent time recovering and taking time off and just resting up. It's hard to get in that frame set. It's hard to get in that frame of mind because I've sort of built up a mental framework that I'm always having to push forward, always having to continue the momentum because if I stop, maybe everything will stop. Maybe it'll all stop tomorrow. If I keep pushing forward and keep progressing forward, it won't stop, right? Well, not necessarily. As it's proven to me this week, I still generated revenue and the code that I thought I was creating for the app wasn't even usable. So the moral of the story is when your body tells you to rest, rest. Will I be taking that advice in the future? Let's be honest, probably not. But this is a reminder to myself that even rest is productive. In that endless pursuit of generating code, creating new products, getting into the release cycle, in that crazy cycle of build, 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 sometimes rest is important. And it reminds me of my days at the gym building muscle. When you're building muscle, you lift weights, you lift heavy things to the point of exhaustion. You're basically pulling your muscles to their limit and then you stop and you recover. And that's why we have reps. Pull your muscle to the limit, stop, recover. Pull your muscle to the limit, stop, recover. And that's a lot more efficient than just pull your muscle to the limit, pull your muscle to the limit, pull your muscle to the limit. Oh no, I've done myself an injury and I can't do any more workouts for the next six months. 
And I guess that's exactly the same with anything in life, especially with being an indie app developer. If I keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, that's the best way to burn out and the best way just to fall in a heap on the ground. So what I would like you to do is stop what you're doing in your tracks. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments what you, the best way you handle burnout or the best way you handle illness and how you have achieved a healthy work-life balance that's a bit more successful than my attempt at trying to just push through it.